beggar weeds are low-growing, perennial broadleaf weeds with a wide distribution throughout the southern United States. Beggar weeds can flower and seed throughout the year, creating rapidly spreading infestations. In this video, we'll go over how to identify beggar weeds, how to eliminate them from your property, and how to prevent their growth in the upcoming seasons. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Many beggar weeds grow prostrate, or along the ground, up to 8 inches from the base, but some species can also grow upright up to 6 feet in height. The leaves grow in a trifoliate shape, meaning each leaf is divided into three leaflets. Depending on the species, the leaflets range from short and heart-shaped to up to 4 inches in height and ovular or lance-shaped. The flowers can range in color from white to violet. When seed pods form, you can see each of the several seeds individually encased within the pod. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Beggar weed can be found on residential or commercial properties growing in open lawns, roadsides, pastures, or other disturbed areas. This plant grows well in dry areas that see full sunlight throughout the day. When inspecting your property, take note of where beggar weed is growing and how far along the life cycle the plants are, as you'll use this information to direct your treatment. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until the products dry completely. Due to the plant's large taproot, manual removal is often not enough to eliminate a beggar weed infestation. It's easy for a small piece of the taproot to break off and remain in the soil, resulting in the plant growing back. To eliminate beggar weed from your lawn, the best method of control is to use a post-emergent herbicide that's labeled not to injure your turf grass. In warm season lawns, we recommend Fahrenheit herbicide. Fahrenheit is a dicamba and metsulfuron methyl-based water-soluble granule that delivers broad-spectrum control of annual and perennial broadleaf weeds in commercial and residential properties. For spot applications, mix 0.2 ounces of the product per 1 gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. Keep in mind this product is only labeled to control creeping beggar weed and Florida beggar weed. When making applications over St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, or zoysia grass, temporary stunting or chlorosis may occur. Mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld pump sprayer. We recommend you use a surfactant like Nanotech to enhance the effectiveness of your treatment. Nanotech is a non-herbicide product designed to improve the adhesion and penetration of pesticides onto treated surfaces. When using Nanotech, just add one fluid ounce per one gallon of solution. Spot treat any beggar weed plant you found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. A follow-up application may be necessary if signs of recovery are observed, especially if the plant's taproot is still alive. Reapplication intervals with Fahrenheit range from 4 to 6 weeks, depending on the site of application. Applications are most effective when plants are newly emerged before bud formation. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. One of the best ways to control beggar weed after it's been eliminated from your property is to mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick growing density. A lawn dense with taller, trimmed grass is better able to choke out weeds and prevent them from establishment. We also recommend promoting the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches. Rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris, and employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds. Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. 
With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop unwanted plants like beggar weed from taking over your turf, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.